Hello guys, it's uh, the Electabuzz here, or Jolly Electabuzz, also known as Halvor Hegmund, I'm from Norway, and I just came home from uh, the Birmingham Entomological Shows. I was uh, on a vacation in London, and I thought we would go by there. We took a train, and then we went over, and I thought I would show you guys my purchases. So, let's go see from those boxes that I took home with. Those are shoe boxes, by the way. And that's a headset box, because I bought a headset as well. I bought a lot. So let's get into it. We'll start with the smallest thing, because I'm mean, and I don't want to spoil the best parts until the end. So, let's open that up. So first off, yeah, you can start with these. Um, let's see here. As you can see, they're in grasshoppers. These I bought from uh, Metamorphosis. They don't sell it on, sell it on the box because the actual packaging I got did not have a letter on it and it would not fit in this, in this little um, box. So I need something small. I'll show you a cricket tub. So that's the first thing. That's one of those. Then I bought some sexual budwing or giant tie stick insects. Fem Fimopharos Struti. Thioneos. I can't. It's a blah 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 from uh, Thailand. I can try to show you through the plastic, but no, it's too. I'm, I'm gonna open it because I'm gonna put them inside their new enclosure anyway. So I also bought the enclosure at the thing. So I'm gonna keep a lot of different types of stick insects in just this thing for now. None of them are sexually mature either way, so it will be fine uh, that way. Okay. I do know why, you know why that thing is actually inside of the thing, but whatever. So yeah, so let me just put that to the side there real quick. And let's remove the tape from this box. I taped all the boxes just in case, just so um, the, uh, nothing would open while they were in transit. Which I didn't take them to myself, I took them on the plane, but you know what I mean. So these were actually my hand luggage, they were not checked in so they were on the plane with me in that inside that box and um, therefore security did not care so uh, I actually want to try to get in contact with the man I mean he gave all uh, he's all pretty much all of his sticks inside these little ice cream tubs sadly one of the sticks seemed to be dead in here died and died while I had them so there you can see in there quite a thin stick insect not like a big beefy. I'll have some beefy ones later, I promise you. They're big, but let's try to get this guy in here first. Before I get this little friend in there. Can you, can you move, please? Dude. There you go. And he's in the enclosure now. I'm trying to hide on that piece of bramble. And we'll try to move the other one as well. See if we get him to... Get himself inside there. There we go. Sadly, the the last guy in there is dead. So yeah. Uh, no, not out again. Stay inside there. Sorry. Let me sip this. Sorry if we're making that's kind of boring to watch me trying to get stick insects to stay inside the enclosure. But you know, what do you got to do? What do you got to do? So the next thing is kind of interesting. You can see that every day inside of the pet trade. Actually, let me just lift this thing. I can just, uh, just lift that over there. Then <laughs> you get to see my fatty arm. Whatever. Um, so here is the next thing. These are kind of packed in there, sadly enough. They're kind of, we have space enough to for themselves, but they're kind of packed. So let me try to get them out of this. So there's actually two cups. I bought them in two, but I couldn't get both of them, both of the cups. So they're both all in one cup right now. I'll actually separate them first. Poor guys. So I can just show you one of them now. They are these pill bugs, Thai pill bugs. They're about two or three sizes uh, the ones you find in Norway. Here where I live. And I will put them out. See, here's a really big one. I can show you that one. That's the biggest one I have, I think, that I bought. So, see there? Quite a good size on them. So, my friend 
uh, Mark from the Start for Butterfly Farm said I should uh, keep them cool. And the biggest mistake people do with these is uh, keeping them hot like uh, exotic millipedes. Because they're not millipedes, they're isopods, I think. I think they're like an in-between thing, actually, but they're closer to isopods. So let me just give them some dirt in there. Yep. That's them, and now I made a mess. Uh, by the way, if you wonder how I actually cushioned them, because I didn't have any proper cushioning materials, I just used some socks that I bought. I didn't buy them for that, but I used them for that. So let me just add the lid on those guys. And then move on to the next thing. So we're we're done with this box. On to the shoe box. The check is this. No, I don't. I don't want to start with this one. I want to go to the other one first, just because this is my favorite box. They have my favorite insects that I won't be telling you what is yet. Here we can go first. It also has a one pair. My favorite insect. Maybe the word pair gave you a little head start, but I'll take that for last. So here was what I picked up at a bargain at the end of the show. This was supposed to go for twenty pound. I got it for fifteen. It's a fat rock scorpion, also for metamorphosis. So that's great, and it's actually small enough to just live in that for now. Uh, and then we can go on to some other stick insects that I got from the same dude. So this is one of the few times he didn't pack it in one of those. Uh... And again, sadly. One of them has died inside the packaging here. So it's Hemiplasta falsata from Sulawesi. Their PSG number is 285. And they eat Hypersinium, Bramble, and Oak. And here. There you see they have these like banded legs. Very beautiful actually. So let's also put them inside of the enclosure. Here we go. Grab that enclosure real quick. All quick like. And um, we are gonna find the way to opening this again. I'm not used to this enclosure. Now we're gonna. Sorry for this taking a bit long. Uh, I know, but I have to get these poor guys out. They've been in these tubs for about three days. Almost. Yeah, about three days. If they packed them beforehand, if they didn't pack it the same day as they went to the show, they've been on these things for three days. So, which I'm guessing they didn't. Because some of them drove over a good three hours to get to the show. And some of them came from Germany. Nothing I bought came from Germany. But some things that was in the show came from there. So this box is actually kind of cracked. So let me just try to get the tape off here. Sorry, I had to pack them with tape. I was afraid that the box would go open. Especially because of this specific one. The, 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 the lid did open on them. Okay, so he, these guys are all active. Very active actually. So I'm trying to help them get into the enclosure. Okay, he's almost in. And then the next one as well almost in oh he's in no stay inside let's hope those move a bit more as we do some non stick insect things okay so, sorry about that I just really want to get them inside of an enclosure so they don't die or something like that I'll spray them in the water later. Same for the flat rock scorpion, it needs some water desperately. Okay. So here we have another thing I'm really excited for getting. Because um, I always try to order these things. And I've always dined in the freaking mail when I try to import them. Specifically, I always try to import them from Denmark, from the same guy. And it always molds inside of his boxes. And I don't want to take the risk of importing them for anyone else through the mail. Because I think it's not really his fault if it molds. That's more of just heat, too much heat and too much, it's too wet and too hot. And they need it hot and they need it wet. So they, you can't really do anything about it and they're kind of sensitive. So, let me just remove the tape here from the box. Sorry for all the noise of the, of the tape. 
But if you can uh, wait, if you can see that, uh, sorry, I'll just take them out. They're so small, I don't want to hurt them. But they are sexually mature, these things. Um, if you see him there, it's a vampire crab. Oh, see, now he moved to the side, so now it's easier. Vampire crab. These are the orange and with red claws version. There's a lot of species of these things on the market. And yes, I tried to buy these from Denmark once. They did not survive the trip, sadly. Let's move on to something else that's very exciting for me. Never owned these before. Always wanted to. Never tried buying them though. But uh, I wish I did earlier. So these are. Is it Philippium? Something like that. You know, these are the small version, the 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 Filipinas, uh, leaf insects. See? And I made a Donald Duck noise. Donald Duck noise. Not Donald Trump noise. Donald Duck. Here they are all on this same little bramble leaf, and that guy's all active, so. And all of these survived, which is pretty cool. So, let's try to get them inside of this enclosure without making a mess. Luckily, those things from Sulawesi were super duper active and walking all over the place. So they didn't make it as hard to get anything else in there. Unlike those other things. So these are all of, uh, I think these are all L3s and L2s. Maybe this one is an L4, he's quite much larger than everything else. And all of the other ones. Let's try to get him to walk onto this leaf as well. And he's not on the leaf. And we will try to get them all inside here. And just drop them. And here's one last guy. Let's try also get him in there. Little guy, little guy, come on. Don't be such a pain in the ass. Come on, go. Go off. I don't really want to pick you up. I want to maybe just walk around by yourself. Oh, this guy's kind of weak. And uh, there he goes. He's on. Thank God for that. Oh, that large one is very active. He's already at the top. It's looking for moisture or food or something. Very cool animals. The, the leaf insects, I've always wanted them, as I said. Now let's move on to my favorite type of insect in the world. And if you didn't know, the answer to what is my favorite, what is this stupid Norwegian nerd's favorite animal, it is the beetle. I love the beetles. All types of beetles, sag, rhino, flower, I love beetles. Now, let's start with the more boring type of uh, beetle, the female beetle. Specifically, the female stag beetle. If I can find her in here. And I did find her in there. She actually escaped earlier, so I was afraid that she would not be in there. There she is, found her. So this, you know, it's just a little black thing with uh, a little bit of a jaw. This is the female of this is Dorcus Perry, which is a smaller Dorcus species, but it's not as small as the lesser stag beetle or Dorcus Bavalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalal
So yeah, you'll see some more beetles later. I bought them all from the same guy. Strap for better for playing. Mark, calling out. Thanks for the beetles. I really like them. So, I start for better for farm. Those were 25 pounds, actually. It was quite cheap for a pair of adult beetles. They're not super active yet. Now let's move on to the last thing that's inside this box. And I really hope they're both alive, and they are both alive. I bought two pairs of these things. I won't tell you what they are yet. They are... Eurocantha calcarata, or the giant spiny stick insect. And they are gigantuan, and these are not even adults. These are sub-adults of the species. And I now understand why they are giant thorny devil stick insects also as well. Or just the Papua New Guinean devil, or whatever. Uh, they have many names. Uh, as pretty much every insect does. They have many common names. But I just like to call them giant thorny stick insects. This is the female here. Very nice, large insect. Which means she's also quite slow. And then the male is in there. He's much smaller, as you can see. And that's now just a... Uh, you see? Really nice. Well, now you can't see her, actually. She's out of the camera. But you know, you know, you get my point. So now let's try to get her inside of here. Which I think will be a bit of a pain because she's so large. No, I'm not climbing on that side of the thing. Well, she literally didn't want to listen to me. Like all females. Just kidding. Just kidding. It's a joke. It's a joke. Don't be offended. But you see, instead of walking inside of the hole I wanted her to go to, she decided to climb up. Which is just a natural response I think all stick insects do. But that's not where I wanted her. I wanted her inside the thing, not on the thing. And now I have to do the painful process of trying to get her off the thing, into the thing, close the thing without her deciding to run away. And I think the way I'll do that is by using another tweak. Yeah. Here we go. So it's a bit of a mess on this table right now because of all the things on it. Let's try to get her onto this little twig. Would you please move? Please? I'm asking you nicely here. Actually, I'm kind of just begging you to do so. But would you move, please? Ah, come on. I'm giving you this prime piece of real estate right here. Look at this. Look at this fresh piece of bramble. Aren't you interested in some... You know, a fresh piece of bramble? No? Fine then. I'll put your mail in there. So here we have the mail. Just getting him off. It's a lot easier. I didn't want to pick her up because I heard these things can spray, but I'm not sure if actually that's true or not. But he just goes straight in. And I'll just lift them off. Ooh, she did not like being touched. Would you move on, please? Come on, be nice. Um, I'll just leave her there, then. I don't think she can really cause any harm being there. Let's try to close the thing here. Oh, see, now she's jolting off. I'm touching the, the thing and it moves and she's like oh shit danger's imminent if I could get the male to move here he's not as responsive he doesn't care as much as he thinks these things have some huge poopicles poop particles in regular speak so I bought two pairs of these things but only one pair for me uh, the other pair is for a friend of mine named Shell who I know loves stick insects so he has this nice old pair here. That's for him. I better bring those to him tomorrow. I thought these were just so lovely and they were so cheap. Only seven pounds for a pair of sub adults. For those things. They're huge. But that was the last thing in this box. So that was 
something. Now, moving on to the box I like the most. Not that I like, don't, that I dislike anything from this box. But of course, as I am really mean, I will not show you the coolest things first. I'll show you cool things, but not the coolest. Here we have a whip scorpion. It's actually a Japanese whip scorpion, to be a, a exact. Oh, because I'm an idiot, I taped this. Uh, but no, it reminds me who I bought it from. I bought it from Martin Goss, uh, and I think it's also Stephen Goss, his brother. But these are tailed whip scorpions, and I'm pretty sure they're Japanese. Triple Peltis Crucifer. It said they were Japanese on their stand anyway, and if they're not Japanese, you lied to me. Yeah, these are Japanese whip scorpions. Let me see if I can get the upper side there for you. There you go. So they just, they just look like regular whip scorpions, but they are Japanese. Pretty cool. A lot of people like Japan for some reason. No matter what, how kind of unrelated it is to Japan, they like Japan. So I thought I would mention they're from Japan. Okay. So cool. Cool, cool. Uh, some more stickies here. Of course. Uh, yep, yeah, here's another pair of the sexual budwing sticks for my friend. And of course, what seems to be everyone's favorite stick insect in the world. The jungle limbs. People love jungle limbs. And I kind of understand why they like jungle limbs. And it's because they're big. And they're very big. They're not big. They're big. Or the females, big. And the male is big. <laughs> Compared to the, <laughs> the female, she's, he's just, eh, whatever. He's, he's chaos pose. Mm. So... Let's try to get the tape off these guys. I'll keep the tape on those extra buttons because those are for my friend. Ugh. So, these of course, eat the bramble, eat whatever you will, uh, every single, ever, every single stick and second in the freaking universe seems to eat bramble. But let me try to show them to you here because they are kind of beautiful, even as nymphs. It's kind of distinct to some. Because some species look very boring as nymphs. As you can see, and it's very easy to sex them as well. Because the male has this lichen uh, pattern, and the females just don't. They're just this regular brown color. But she'll turn this beautiful green eventually. Meanwhile, he'll keep uh, uh, some of his lichen coloring on his wings, and then he'll lose it on his body. Of course, most of his body is his wings, so it doesn't really matter. But, you know, I thought I would mention it. So, if we could try to get that uh, giant thorny devil to the male to move as well. If not, I'll just have to you know, make these things just crawl out. Oh, yeah, she's hungry. Can you walk off as well? Can you get off the box? No, 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 no. Inside, inside. Wrong way. Wrong way, lassie. There you go. And he is walking up. No, no, no. I want you to move. Mistake. I thought it was the women that was troublemakers. But it was the males. If I can get this guy to move, that would be nice. If I could get that girl off. So if we could just get him off of there. Maybe the best way to escape there, buddy. I at least remembered a lot of people asking for journal limps. And I think the big reason, the, the big issue with the, the jungle nymph and why they're so rare is it kind of takes a long time for them to grow. But I love these uh, big sticks, you know? Or the little tiny, uh, uh, you know, the thin ones. Except if the thin ones also have some interesting traits. So if we get this guy to move again. Oh, come on, onto the 
There we go. So that's the Jungle Nymphs. This video is almost half an hour long this far. I hope I've entertained you long enough. And uh, that you just haven't clicked off. Which I would ex which I would have if I would have watched this freaking bambling idiot just unpack his new insects. No, could you no 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 stay inside. Can you guys stop making such a cafacle? I don't know like how that guy got his female into that tiny little box. But well done to you, sir. Well done. I can barely get them inside this giant net. Let alone a small box. I think what I will have to do is I'll make the, have to put it inside like a little funnel thing, like a tube. And then just push it out. And push get it into the tube. And then push it out of the tube. That's actually kind of genius. I'm a genius, but I'm also an idiot. I'm an idiotic genius. All right, let's move on to the next, to the, the, the last thing before my favorite animals appear in this little video. Here we have a dwarf scorpion. And even though it's named Lichoilus Australasiae, it's not from Australia. It's actually from some other islands. And there's another species not named that, but it has the same genus, which is from Australia. How confusing, isn't it? But this is from some neighboring islands, I think, if I'm not mistaken. And it kind of disproves the entire island I get thing, because it's tiny, but it is sexually mature. Ugh. Ugh. There we go. Got that tape off. That was actually kind of hard to do. I think that can, I think this guy will be really hard to get on video because it's just so small. But there he is there. A little bark piece. So they're kind of like a tiny bark scorpion. Oh, or a fire rock. And he's actually so small he can just live inside this little tub. Which is where I'll keep him. Because I don't like wasting space. Sorry, not sorry. So we'll just put him back. And we'll put him on, and he has his little label on, and he even has a little price tag on him. Or her. I got no clue. And you know what? I really don't care, because I don't have two. If I had two and I could breed them, I would care. But I don't right now. Yep. So that's it, really. Yep. That's, uh, that's it for all the non-beetles, except the, the two beetles I showed you. But they don't count, because they are way smaller than what I'm about to show you. But me being in the general I want to build up some hype type of guy I will show you the smaller of the two big beetles and I'll even start with the smallest of the small beetles in the female of the pair I got these as a bargain because at the end of the day he had not sold all his pairs so these were supposed to be 50 a pair and they're usually 60 a pair already so they're already a bargain and now he sold me them for 35 so I got happy that I waited seeming like a, I guess there was a more I guess beetles aren't the most hype, especially these kind of things that cover themselves in their own shit. So, as you can see, she is there. This is a female Calcosoma atlas, or, oh, she flipped over. Didn't quite have a grip on the shit there. Uh, or, as you know, in just layman's terms, a female atlas beetle. Yeah, are you walking around now? Have you stopped being a just stand still kind of girl? You're starting walking around now. On the wrong side of the mesh. Still annoyed about that. So yeah, that's the female Atlas Beetle. She started walking around. And now she's staring at me. She's like, Ugh, Your air here in this country is so dry. Which it is, actually. And I kind of don't like it myself. So I don't know how she feels. Okay, there's a little tape. Here we have the male atlas beetle, and there, and it's not quite talented. It's not the biggest horns I've seen for an atlas, but uh, I'll make up for that for the next male that I'll show you. Not the next thing I'll show you, but the next male. This is a Caucasoma atlas male, because no one buys adult beetles in non pairs, because then you're an idiot, because they don't quite live that long, so you kind of want to breed the things. You see? Can you see him there? Holding them by his whole horn set on. That's not that nice. Uh, let me put him down there. Uh, 
again on holding him by his horns. I didn't get him. I didn't grab him from some other place. That's not his horns. That would be kind of cool. So there you see him there. Very beautiful creature. I love beetles. As I've already said multiple times now. So I'll put him back in there. And I'll give him a beetle jelly. I bought a bunch of them. Jellies. Uh, down there. And we'll put the lid on him again. Like that. So yeah, that's the male Atlas. As you can see, she's starting to approach here. You can see her there. Also, I bought this watch in England, but that's kind of irrelevant to this video. Uh, and again, it's a bit of an ass hat. Let me show you the female first of the Caucasoma Caucasus, which now you might say you bought two beetles of the same genus. Really? Are you really that boring? Well, these I actually had to pre order, as you see, it says on the box here. Uh, but you can't see it because it's too light. Oh, there it is. Um, Caucasoma, oh wait, Caucasoma Caucasus XXL sold Halvor Högmoon, which is my name. Um, still to pay seventy pounds for the pair. Yep. So all written down. All kind of cool. Again, she's also covered in her own shit. So, or in something's shit. So uh, there she is. Much bigger than the female Atlas, but not really that remarkably different. Except if you look at her lithros, which you can't see, as it's covered in dung. So, let me just shake some stuff off there. And we'll put the lid back on her. Uh, there we go. We'll put the Caucasus for themselves. And here we go. Here's the big guy. Here is the excitement. Here's the, here's the finale. Here is the most exciting thing. Here's the thing that put my dad kind of on edge about my entire hobby. It's the Caucasoma Caucasus male, and he's already eaten half his jelly because he's a big, big monster. And it's it's called the three horn beetle, but it actually has four horns. You'll have to ask some scientists about that. But oh, he reacted strongly to being grabbed. Oh, well, he's trying to get onto the box. Look at that monster! Look at those horns! He's huge, huge, I tell you. Well, I'm losing grip at him here. Uh, oh. And he's onto the box. Well, that gives me some chance to display him here. Look at those horns. He's huge. And anyone who tries to say, Nah, this can't be a small beetle. You're lying to yourself. You just want to ruin my hype. Look at him. This was, I think this was bred by a Japanese breeder. I'm not sure. Uh, I know it's not, he said it was either a big Japanese breeder or it was a wild caught, but it's a beautiful, beautiful beetle. If I can try to get him off the box here, which I think I can't, I think the only way I will do that is giving him a piece of food. Well, so as you see here, he's quite mad at me trying to get him off. So. Better him being grabbed onto the box than being grabbed onto me, as him grabbing onto me would kind of hurt because he's so big. But if I could just get him off here. Uh, um, so, oh, so strong. He's making quite the mess. So now I have two giant insects that I cannot move. They're like an immovable object. Or an unstoppable. Oh, he's almost falling off on his own. Kind of losing his own grip there. That was just a window. But yeah, there he is. Very beautiful. Very nice creature. I love seeing here. You can see him in relation to my hand. If you don't believe that, he's quite big. Let me see. He's almost as big as my hand. So I'm guessing a good 10, 10, 11 centimeters. Yeah. She's quite stationary right now. That male there is still yet to move. 
I don't know if he's still kind of fresh because of the, the red leg is there on him. But if I just could try to get a piece of food or a stick or something for him to walk on to. Um, I can try to I can try to coax him into some other box together with his female. try to get her, him in and if it takes me over a minute I'll shut down the video there and call it for today so thank you <laughs> thank you guys for watching this mess of a video <laughs> as me as I frantically try to move some beetles around I'll try to get these to mate and I'll, I'll and if I get them to mate I'll make a separate video on the mating but let's try to get him into this box let's see here Quite a hard task to try to get these things to move from one thing to another. You see, I can never, I can never get him off this thing. I'm too afraid to damage him as well, because he's such a beautiful creature. I would never want to cause him any sort of pain or suffering. He's too valuable for that. Not price, just but to the world. He's too beautiful a creature. And some women in the audience, or if any women would really watch this far into the video, would disagree, especially my mom, but I really do believe that these are beautiful creatures, and if they ever die, I'll never be. This is not my box. This is my friend's box. Of, uh, I thought that was an empty stick inside box, but it wasn't. But it sure as hell wasn't. Uh, let me try to give him something to climb onto here. If you could, could you climb onto this? Yeah. Oh, they kind of look like bulls. I never had this problem showing him off in the hotel. <laughs> okay, just, if you could just hold on to something else that isn't that box. I'll have to just try to coax his legs off. And then you know, coax, off, coax off that leg. Okay, there we go. I'll put him inside there. There you have it. Caucasus, Caucasus, and now we just give him a jelly. Here, I bought a whole bunch of them, about forty to be exact. So Caucasus, Caucasus, now has a jelly in his box, or at least I'll give him two because I'll also be adding the female. So, I think I'll call it there. I said it wasn't going to be one minute, but it was four instead, because I was too focused on trying to get him off. So, now he's trying to escape this box too. So I'll have to hold him for a second. So yeah, this is Electabus, signing out. See ya!